What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I'm going to be doing a series called I Just Watched Blink for the first time or something like that. So it's pretty much a bunch of classic popular movies that I haven't seen. Now if you're wondering why I haven't already seen these classic movies, it's pretty much just because I was bigger on video games growing up, but now it's starting to like go the other way. Like I'm starting to watch movies more than putting time towards video games, you know? Because I've decided that I want to go to film school. It's an interest for me and um... I just find it fun and I feel like if you're gonna do, you know, a job or you're gonna have a career, you should enjoy doing that. So I'm looking into the film industry, so I have like a list of movies I need to watch of, um, you know, really popular ones. But anyway, I just watched Back to the Future for the first time and I gotta say I really enjoyed it. One of the movies I actually watched for the first time was Jurassic Park. I watched that last week and that was kind of underwhelming to be honest. Um, I wasn't too too big of a fan on that. I mean, the effects were really good for like 19, like the early 90s. I don't know, man. It just didn't, I I, I wasn't, it wasn't that fun, you know? Because it's, it's supposed to be kind of like a fun, kind of like thriller. I don't know when it ended. I was just kind of like. But with this movie, Back to the Future actually lived up to its expectations. I've seen scenes or I pretty much only seen one scene where in the mall where they first uh, take off with the car and then the the flames going between their legs like I've seen that scene like over and over of just like commercials or like other people using it in their videos or whatever but I had no idea what the movie was about I have I had like no idea that um Marty was going to go back in time I thought it was like both of them go back in time or something I don't know I don't really know what I was thinking but it wasn't what I saw or what happened and this movie was actually just really fun all around like it was funny, but it wasn't like laugh out loud funny. It's just like the concept of it like throughout was really funny. The fact that he goes back in time and meets his mom and he thinks his mom's hot. <laughs> like, that was funny, bro. The main focus of the movie, I guess, is just him trying to hook up his dad with his mom because he moved, he pushed his dad out of the way of hitting the car and she hit Marty instead and then... So, you know, because I'm pretty sure you've seen it. But yeah, I actually generally enjoyed this movie. It was fun. It lived up to its expectations. It wasn't just a fun movie. It was also really smart. Like, it was clever, cleverly made. Is that, a, is that a word? But you can tell it wasn't just aiming at being a fun movie. It, it was also very complex in terms of, like, you know, they chose the time periods that they think would be most comedic. And they, and they chose the storyline that would be most comedic. And it would just be, like, a fun movie to watch. And by the end, you're satisfied by it. Uh, there's a lot of goofy moments. Christopher Lloyd was the one that made me laugh the most. Just his facial expressions. Not even the things that he said. Just like his eyes just like opening like really wide at parts. It was just like really funny. Something I liked too was that I was kind of expecting it to have everything go back to normal. When he was going to go uh, back to back to the future. <laughs> when he was going to go back to his present time where he, you know where the mall, the whole mall scene happened, you know, where they were in the beginning. I think it was 85? I think it was 1985. So I thought when he was going to go back to 1985, everything was going to go back to normal and be the same. But actually, the actions that happened when he went back 30 years actually affected when he went back in 85 because now the dad's all cool now. He's all like cocky and now the bully dude is like, uh, doing stuff for him, doing favors, and I don't even know, like, practically a slave. The mom isn't as, uh, fat, <laughs> and Marty has that car that he wanted in the very beginning of the movie. He was like, one day, one day. And a lot of the movie was focused on Marty trying to tell the doctor that, um, that he was gonna get shot in, you know, 1985 in that parking lot. And so then he goes back and he sees him get shot, but he wore a vest, so this man was like, yo, let's go. He taped back, he taped back the the letter that he wrote and usually i kind of feel cheap or i kind of like roll my eyes when stuff like that happens in movies where it's like oh my gosh like you think they're dead or something but then they're actually alive because this miracle happened or something but this movie actually did it really well and it was actually believable and realistic and it, it kind of added to the humor in the movie and i thought that was really well so yeah the two people who made me laugh the most was doc and george mcfly you know the dad and um other than that, there's not much to say about it. It was just a fun movie. It took me it took me kind of by surprise because I didn't know that the story was going to be about that. But it lived up to the expectations and the hype that I've seen 
I don't know, not really the hype, but just like, cause you know, people refer to this as a, a classic, you know? I feel like this well deserves a title as a classic movie. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want more, drop a comment. Peace out.